So guys, Ethereum's looking great right now. Bitcoin, not so much. But we're going to be talking about Bitcoin, Ethereum, and some top coins. If you're new to crypto, if you're not new to crypto, but you're looking to switch up your portfolio, today we're going to be going over some top coins you could choose to add into your portfolio, or maybe you just want to take a look at them and then potentially invest in them later. So if that all sounds good, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel for more. And with that, let's get straight into it. Enjoy. So let's start off by talking about the market as a whole. So we have Bitcoin at $55,000. We've got Ethereum at $4,100, which is still, I'm still getting used to saying Ethereum is above $4,000 because it seems so crazy that it only really just hit $3,000 just a, a week or so ago. So that, I mean, that's still looking good. Ethereum is still up on the 24 hour mark, but unfortunately Bitcoin is not. So Bitcoin is actually down 2% right now. Now we've got Binance coin down 2% and in as a whole, you see the whole market is down just under a percent. And so if we look at the best gainers, we can see Zcash, uh, Aave, we've got Kusama, Synthetics, a coin that I actually called in my last video uh, when it was around $16. And I think Synthetics is going to be huge this year. So very, very good to see those coins doing well. And in terms of the biggest losers, we've got ICP, we've got Shiba Inu, we've got Telcoin, etc, etc. Now, guys, with coins such as Shiba Inu, Dogecoin, you know, on this channel, we don't particularly, um, you know, condone investing into them. We talk about them sometimes, but we, we don't really like to invest in meme coins or we, we kind of stray away from it. That's not to say you can't make money in them. You know, you can always ride the pumps, but they are just really risky. And, you know, if you are going to go into a coin like that, just please know that is very close to, uh, you know, risking all your money that you're putting in because there's no guarantee. There's no like fundamental good project behind it. So do just be careful with that. So let's take a look at Bitcoin analysis to start with. We've got this area of demand that was hit by Bitcoin. It was reacted to, mitigated, and uh, Bitcoin is price is still kind of tumbling down, right? So the next level we will be looking at in terms of uh, mitigation is somewhere around here, and that would be anywhere between 47,000 and 50,000. Now, don't worry, I don't necessarily think we're gonna come all the way down to this level. This is the level that makes sense for me, but you know we do still look bullish in general. Now we do have a, quite a bit of liquidity piling up with this trend line, so we might want to take this out and then reverse. Now this is the level I'm still watching as a major level of resistance, which is about $60,000. We do have some liquidity resting above here that might be want to take out and uh, it might come into this area before dropping further. And then once this area is mitigated, I believe we can actually start to move up again and hopefully hit that $65 to $70,000 mark within the next month or so. So that is really good to see for Bitcoin that it is actually showing signs of, you know, respecting certain areas. Uh, but I would say if you are looking to trade Bitcoin, of course, you can use Bybit. There's a link down in the description. If you're outside the UK, you can get up to $1,000 free by meeting their deposit criteria. And uh, if you do want to trade it, just be careful that you're entering. Make sure you're entering at a level of a demand uh, or supply, depending on if you're buying or selling. Uh, don't just randomly enter and hope for the best, especially when you're trading with leverage. So that's Bitcoin. Let's take a look at Ethereum. Now, Ethereum, as always, is, is crazy. And uh, this was a level that we had marked out previously that held quite well. We can move that now uh, because it has been mitigated. Now, this was another level that I saw. Um, again, we can kind of get rid of that. The next level I'd be looking at for Ethereum would be about here, which is the $4,031 level. Uh, so I would be marking it out like that. I would expect price to come into around about here and then push off. I mean, it may not even touch down here because this is a, uh, a order block in itself that we might bounce off of. Now, if you want to learn how to use order blocks, smart money concepts, the way that we trade over here, including strategies, there's a six hour course that we put together. Uh, if you use the code CryptoBusy at checkout, you get $100 off right now. So check that out whilst the deal still lasts. But it's a very, very good course. We spent a lot of time on it and a lot of good reviews. So definitely check that out. But yeah, you can see there's also a key level down here at 3,450. If we did have a massive uh, drop of 20% or so or whatever, I do believe this would be kind of the area that we'd look to retest from. So I'm still keeping that there on my chart just in case because I will most likely be placing a trade if we do hit lows of this. But right now, I'm still bullish on the price kind of uh, respecting these higher and higher levels. Today's video, I did want to talk about some top coins, right? Let's say you've just started in crypto, or maybe you're looking for some new coins to switch up your portfolio. I thought I'd just list some of my absolute top coins for 2021. These are, there's no guarantee they're going to do well. It's not financial advice, but it's just coins that I like and think will do well. And I personally hold uh, most of these. So let's start off with VeChain. VeChain is a coin we've been talking about for a long, long time. It's been moving in this consolidation area for a while now. I do think it's showing signs of strength that it wants to go higher, but I do really want it to hit this level, which is between 15 and 17.5 cents. 
if it hits that level that's a great buy zone in my opinion and it means that we could definitely start to move straight from there to 25 cents so i think if it does hit like 16 cents or so we will see probably a 40 to 50 percent bounce pretty pretty quickly after that so that's what i'm watching for v chain and i'm not going to go too in depth with these coins uh v chain looks at supply chain logistics in in crypto so do check them out on your own time if you do want to check out more about the in-depth project side of things so then we've got solana solana is another coin that i think is great you've got a lot of great ecosystems uh, built on solana and uh solana you can see perfectly retested this support and resistance level that we had marked out and we have broken structure to the upside which means now we are actually looking very very bullish we can mark out this area here as an order block this potential um, area so we could maybe see price come down and touch that again about 42 dollars but to be fair it is looking very very bullish and we may have actually just touched this one instead which means uh, we're on our way from 44 dollars back up to i mean what 49.50 maybe even more i think as a price prediction for the future i'm looking at 100 dollars solana this year i really do think it will happen um, i think it's a fantastic ecosystem project and uh, i think it's going to do great great things so you know we like to bring you some projects that we work with sometimes and one of them is mercurial finance so it's a project we're working with recently and i just wanted to bring it to you guys attention in case you are interested they've got an ido coming up shortly and essentially it is a stable swap and they have high efficiency low slippage swaps and they have two major innovations so they have dynamic fees where the fees are increased in you know high volatility and they're lowered in low volatility to increase trading incentives and then you've also got dynamic capital allocation where they deploy assets into the pools so essentially uh, you know yield generate opportunities across the solana ecosystem so like we just talked about earlier with solana um, solana ecosystem is what it is built upon so then mercurial actually aims to become essentially the one place you go to for that stable liquidity um, which helps to improve diversity and liquidity for stables on Solana, which of course is a major part of the DeFi uh, use cases, as we know, we've talked about DeFi many, many times on the channel. So why did they choose Solana? Well, uh, again, as we talked about in the past, we actually did a whole video about Solana if you want to check that out. But uh, the dynamic vaults like they envision would be prohibitively expensive on Ethereum and completely impractical. Therefore, Solana's transactions and subsequent finality uh, makes it way, way better to use that. So the project is backed by some uh, some great fundamental funds such as you've got Alameda Research, you've got Solana Ecosystem Fund, I think you have OKX, Huobi and a few others as well. Um, and the team has a great background if you want to check them out definitely I'll leave a link in the description and they have the FTX IEO so that the IEO will be launching on an FTX and everything within the Solana ecosystem has a lot of interest due to its natural advantages for DeFi applications so that's why I think it's going to go it's going to do well now of course please remember there's no financial advice here uh, it's, there's no guarantee it's going to do well but this is one that we are personally invested in we think it's going to do well uh, so we'll bring it to you guys attention anyway with that being said let's get back into the video now we also have Zilliqa. Last time I chose this coin, you can see we did very, very well. I had the arrow there. This was the zone that was marked. We bounced off that really well. We went from 19 to 25 cents and we bounced on the level again. Now this level has already been mitigated. So we are going to be looking at this level now. I would like to see uh, price slow down here and break this structure. So I want to break 22 cents before we can move up. However, that being said, we do have that support and resistance zone now that may be a bit of a struggle to get past. If we do drop further, don't worry too much because we do have a very key level here as well at 15 to 16 cents. So if price does get down to that level and you are looking to buy a new coin, this could be a good level to consider. So definitely check that out. Zilliqa again, great. It utilizes sharding uh, to kind of speed up the blockchain and all that good stuff. So that is Zilliqa. And now let's take a look at Atom or Cosmos, as you might know it as it's a top 100 project, top 50 project, I believe. And it's it's another one that I think is great. It's very similar to the Zilliqa in what's happened recently. We've got the support and resistance zone here. Uh, so things aren't looking super bullish. However, we do have a key level down here that it may react to. Uh, so if price does come a little bit lower, then I wouldn't worry too much because there is a level here around $23 that it may bounce from. Cosmos, again, a fantastic blockchain project. I also see it being around $100 at some point uh, this year. I know they've got a lot of news coming up and uh, they've got a lot of releases. So another one to keep your eyes on. Cosmos, great, great stuff coming. And the penultimate one we're going to be talking about is Chainlink. So Chainlink is a coin that we talk about for tons of time on this channel now. You can see we've actually just respected this key level here, this key demand zone. 
and we've wicked straight through it and you know you could have picked it up anywhere in here when i present these zones to you guys you can literally buy with it anywhere within this zone and that's valid so you, know, you could have bought all the way from 41 dollars to almost 45 dollars and you still would have made decent profit you know it went up to 49 dollars it is coming back down however i think we'll personally just bounce here because we did break a little bit of structure to the upside so i i see the chain link kind of just going back up to its high here at 53 dollars and then actually taking that out maybe going to 60. so check out Chainlink as well an oracle based project and last but not least, we talk about Cardano, another one of the favorites on the channel. Cardano, a lot of people like it, and uh, you know they essentially are rivaling projects such as Ethereum, and they're doing great stuff in the space. You know, people are still looking for more things to be built on Cardano for it to actually have that use case. However, it does have a lot of promises behind it. it has a great team behind it. Obviously, Charles, who is in charge, everyone knows how great he is. So, uh, in general, it is a good project. And I do definitely see $5 plus for Cardano happening either hopefully this year, this bull cycle, if not definitely in the next one. Uh, but we are, have respected this level quite nicely and I do think we continue to. However, we've made somewhat of a double top formation, which isn't super bullish. However, uh, we are coming back down to retest this area of demand. So I think we will actually, based on the bullish nature of the market, kind of just bounce from here. And uh, you can also trade Cardano, I believe, on some uh, major platforms as well. So definitely check out all the coins mentioned today either trade them buy them or don't it's up to you um, completely your decision but these are just some of my top coins my top holdings and uh, I, I like to share them with you guys so if you like the video you learned something please leave a like and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell on and also let me know in the comments what are your favorite coins and which coins are you holding right now and with that guys i'll catch you in the next one bye